hi guys welcome back to my channel today I've got another delicious recipe for you all I'm gonna make some honey jerk flavor chicken thai yes I'm telling you this recipe is gonna be so 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 delicious don't forget guys to give me a thumbs up share this video to your families to your friends and everyone on your social media I will really really appreciate it honestly guys I work so hard just to get this video out for you all so please continue to support my channel and if you have been supporting my channel I thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart thank you so guys in my bowl right here I've got one pack of chicken thai that already washed and clean in some lime juice and this is five okay five of them these are all of my other ingredients that I'll be using here I have I'm gonna start off with my seasoning here I have one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning one teaspoon of my Cajun seasoning right here I also have half teaspoon of smoked paprika half teaspoon of black pepper half teaspoon of garlic powder and half teaspoon of salt and onion powder it mixed together and this is my wet jerk marinade from the bottle and guys I have a video on my channel and how I make it so you guys can always go and check it out or you can also get it from your local supermarket they sell jerk marinade in the bottle you can use as much as you like but I don't want it to be so spicy so I'm only gonna use one tablespoon as I said here's my garlic that is finely chopped three cloves also I have one stalk of scallion two teaspoon of my fresh thyme and half of onion okay and that's my honey right here and I'm using half cup of honey I'm just gonna start off by adding at least two teaspoon of my olive oil onto my chicken thigh and it's just gonna allow your chicken to be nice and for the seasoning to stick on it so that's why if you don't have olive oil you can always use vegetable oil then I'm just gonna add my seasoning like so I'm gonna add my wet jerk seasoning gonna also add my dark soy sauce guys I'm telling you it smells real good I'm gonna add all my fresh seasoning just like so I'm gonna take my nice clean hand and just massage all those seasoning and all those herbs all over on my chicken thigh So guys, I'm gonna add at least one teaspoon of my dark soya sauce for more color. And you wanna make sure that you lift the skin up on your chicken thigh and make sure that you rub the season on it, okay? So guys my chicken thigh is nicely nicely seasoning and this is what it look like you can always leave it to marinate for at least 30 minutes one hour overnight or if you want you can cook it as it is because as long as you season your chicken or whatever meat you have properly it will still be delicious trust me I do it a lot look how it look so so yummy already and it's not even finished what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fry my chicken thigh for at least three to four minutes and each side okay so I add at least two tablespoon of my olive oil to my pot as I said you can always use vegetable oil so now what you want to do you want to make sure that you remove 
you know, your scallion and the thyme away from the chicken as much as possible. And then you're gonna add it. I'm gonna add it now. Skin size down, okay? Just take off any excess onion, chillion. So now guys, I'm going to flip it over. So now guys, I'm going to flip over my chicken thigh. Nice and brown. Gonna turn it back over. Huh? It's nice and brown, guys. So now I'm just gonna remove it. Put it to my plate. They have the perfect color. So guys, this is the same pot that I used to fry my chicken thigh and what I did, I just clean it, give it a wash because it was a bit too burned, okay? Then I just add at least one to two teaspoon of my olive oil to my pot, okay? And my stove is on a low heat. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add, you see all these onion, garlic that leave back, I'm going to add it to my pot, okay? And as I said, make sure your stove is in a low heat. Gonna mix it all in now. Just gonna leave it for at least 20 seconds, okay? And guys, to the same bowl, I'm gonna add at least half cup of hot water. Just want to mix it all in. So after 20 seconds guys, this is what it looks like. So now I'm just going to add the water from the bowl. Just like so. It looks so good guys. Then I'm going to add half teaspoon of my all-purpose seasoning. And you can always taste it to your liking. If you need any salt, any black pepper, you can always add. Okay? So this is the fun part. Now I'm going to add that honey. You want to mix it all in. And I'm just going to leave it guys for it to come to a boil for at least two minutes. Okay. And I'm also going to add half teaspoon of my jerk marinade so guys it has come to a boil and this is exactly what you want okay I'm gonna add it skin size done Absolutely delicious.
I'm gonna add all the liquid from the bowl that leaves back. And I'm gonna leave it guys for at least 12 minutes, okay? Yes. Gonna cover my pot. So guys, just after 12 minutes, what you wanna do, I'm gonna turn over my chicken tie. I'm gonna flip it on the other side because I know they are very thick guys and I want them to cook properly so I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna allow it to cook for another 12 minutes okay it looks so good absolutely delicious you can see the sauce is getting nice and thick and that's exactly what you want. Let me pour the sauce on it. Look at that. Absolutely delicious. It looks so good. Put a lid on it and guys if the water is reducing you can always add at least quarter cup more of your water to the pot okay yes so it is finally finished guys and this is what it look like absolutely delicious mouth watering I'm gonna pour all that sauce all over it. Sauce is nice and thick. Look at that. This is like food prawn, guys. It looks so good. This recipe is a must try. If you try this recipe, guys, don't forget to comment below and tell me what it's like, okay? And don't forget also to share, 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 share. You can serve it with some rice, some mashed potato, whatever you preferred. So good. I'm going to plate it up and show you guys what it looks like on the plate. So stay tuned. So guys, this is what it looks like on the plate. I'm telling you, it's looking super, super delicious. It came out perfect. If you try this recipe, comment below and tell me what it's like. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Share it to your families, to your friends, and everyone on your social media. Look how nice that chicken look. Oh my gosh, so, so good. I thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye.